Hi YouTube and this is JTrain997 and I'm back this time with my review of the DC Direct Blackest Night Series 3 Green Lantern and once again take it with a grain of salt because I'm not the master of pronunciation on these names. I think it's Arzia, that's what I'm going for, A-R-I-S-I-A. -I -I of course while I am familiar with the character it's not like I have to pronounce her name on a daily basis so get a look at this bad girl in packaging here. Of course she does come with her lantern and her Green Lantern base. Her hand seems to be open though, so I'm wondering is this going to be like one of those Jon Stewart deals where they just kind of throw in the lantern but the figure can't utilize it. But um, either way, she looks to be a very nice sculpt and packaging. Of course, onto the back of the box. The rest of the characters in the wave, and her little bit says, After replacing her father as the Green Lantern of Sector 2815, Arzia of, Gra of Gravos had a long career as a member of the Corps. Believed to have perished in the Emerald Twilight, Hal Jordan discovered her alive on the Manhunter homeworld, used as a power source for the cyborg Superman. In service, and in service to the renewed Anti-Monitor, Arzia rejoined the Corpse Corps, continuing to represent the green power of Will in the Blackest Night. So um, she's become a popular little Green Lantern. She even got her own, finally got her origin story told in one of the Blackest Night spin-off books, so glad to finally have her. That being said, let's pull her out of the packaging. And here she is out of packaging, and unfortunately, like I thought, the lantern is pointless. It can absolutely in no way fit into her hand. Of course, you can just kind of, you can try and slide it up here, but actually, no. No, it cannot. Uh, for a second there, I thought it might actually be pried in there, but it's not going to stay. And once again, the same issue with the prong sliding out. So... While at least they opened her hand in some crude attempt to give us the ability to put the lantern in there, it's not working. And even more than that, I actually couldn't figure out what it was, but there seemed to be something different about this lantern between it and the Jon Stewart one. So I went back and got his, and you can might not be able to tell, but here having the both of my hands, there definitely is a um, darker green on Jon Stewart's lantern. So um, that's a little unfortunate. I figured it would be very easy to replicate a piece, and... The lanterns do seem to be something that they'd want everyone to be exactly alike on, so that's pretty unfortunate. Moving on to Arzia. Let's get her sculpt in there. Actually, some pretty nice detail on the sculpt. Um, once again, unfortunately, though, the ring is pretty poor in my opinion. So, a nice looking figure. Um, I do have one complaint. To me, it's a pretty big complaint because um, I am familiar with the character. In the books, Arzia has orange skin. Here, she looks like a human with a tan. Granted, it's a very impressive tan, but she still looks like a chick with a tan. I think they really should have gone with a more obvious orange tone for her skin. Um, that was really disappointing for me. Of course, going on to getting a full 360 of her. Pulling her off her face really quick. Of course, she has the standard Green Lantern base that comes with all Green Lanterns from the Blackest Night line. Of course, her articulation. She does 360 degrees at the arm, bends at the elbow, and has a wrist joint. Of course, no torso articulation. Some very slight left and right in her head, um, mostly hindered due to her hair. Also, I suppose chicks with pretty intense tans wouldn't have pointed ears either. Just kind of correcting myself. Same for both arms, although the elbow joint's intensely stiff, I'm actually kind of worried about putting pressure on this, seems like it'll break. So the elbow's staying where it is over here. Of course, leg movement, um, actually not as hindered as you would think with her skirt. It seems to be a softer plastic, so it's kind of moving with her leg. Bends at the knee, same for both legs. So that being said, um, I really was disappointed because this was actually one of my more favorite, um, I call them side lanterns, green lanterns that usually don't get a whole lot of the limelight. But I'm um, really disappointed with her. Um, I think there should have been a lot more detail in um, her paint, her skin paint. Um, once again, I guess I can't complain because they threw the lantern in and if you want to go as far as super gluing it into her hand, yeah, the lantern will stay, but it sure isn't going to stay without a fight. So, really disappointed with her. Um, now, things like the green detail on her paint, I mean, green detail on her costume, that's really nice. The head sculpt's pretty nice. Um, really, the only paint bailing is the skin tone. 
So RG Home will run you about 20 bucks at your local comic shop, probably about 25 off eBay after you've paid shipping. If you're a Black as Night fan, um, I'd say she warrants the pickup, but just barely. She has a lot of flaws, unfortunately. So this is JTrain997, and I'll see you soon, YouTube.